In this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to use the GPT-4 for free. Usually before you can use GPT-4, you have to be on the GPT Plus or ChatGPT Plus for you to be able to use it, which comes in uh, as a paid version. For you to use it, you have to pay at least $20 per month. This is it. You have access to the most capable model that is up to date. It uses, it gives, can give you current information and whatever is happening. It is faster in terms of responses and it has a lot of other advantages than the GPT 3.5. So there are two ways to access this. The first method is um, a website called poi.com. You can get to poi by just coming to your browser and just type in poi.com. You can just go ahead and sign up. It's free to sign up. You can sign up with your Gmail account. Just sign up and you'll be brought into this platform. Once you sign up, you log in, you're brought into this very platform. Now you can see that there are a number of uh, chatbots over here. You can see a lot of uh, popular bots if you're interested. You can see AI bots, you can see official bots and, and so on. There are so many utility bots, so many. But then what we are targeting for today is GPT-4, which you can see it here, or you can click on uh, more to see it. You can see GPT-3.5. So our target for today is GPT-4, which you can see it from here. So you can come over here and just search for whatever you want to search for example write a short blog about sustainability and you can just hit on enter and let's give some seconds uh, we can see now this is gpt4 writing so you can see directly what is sustainability environmental sustainability and so on it's writing it taking its time to write for you completely to show sustainability and so on so economic sustainability and so on so it is continuous this is the power of gpt4 this is beyond chat gpt 3.5 you can see it is giving you detailed blog post that you can just copy and edit maybe put some images images or also media and just attach and this is complete and is more critical and in-depth compared to gpt 3.5 so this is one way to access it the only caveat to this is that you only have access to one prompt per day so you can see right now it says zero left you have zero left if you want to use it for a number of time i suggest you subscribe to gpt4 from poi which gives you some discount but then if you want to go on and subscribe from the chat gpt platform you can as well do that it's 20 dollars per month for under poi i think it's 16.6 they about you get some discount now the second method involves the use of microsoft edge if you don't have Microsoft Edge, you can download it by just coming to a browser and just type in Google and you can just type Microsoft Edge. Just like so and you don't enter, you can see download Microsoft Edge. Once you click on it, it's going to bring you over here. You can choose between the various operating systems that you have. You can even have for iOS and Android depending if you have it. You can just download go ahead and download mine is mac operating system intel chip you can just select to download i've downloaded mine and installed so you just go ahead and download it it's free of charge it's open source so once you download and install your microsoft edge you can see it over here so you can just come all the way to the top and search for bing.com for slash chat to access bing ai Bing AI also uses GPT-4. According to the web search results, the new Bing AI, the new Bing is running on GPT-4, uh, which is the latest version of OpenAI's generative pre-trained transformer model. So this is using GPT-4. You just have to log in with your Microsoft account or any of your account. It's free to register as well and create Microsoft account. So once you register with your Microsoft account, you'll be brought into this very platform, the new uh, Bing AI your ai powered copilot for the web it uses gpt4 so you have the option to choose between the various options like balanced creative or precise so you can just come over here and ask it any question for example you can still ask the same question write a blog post about sustainability so let's just ask this and see how it's going to respond so you can see it is giving us its own response so 
so here in you have do you have any more questions you can see it has written about sustainability it's a broad topic that covers many aspects and it's one of the main challenges of sustainability are this 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 and then he went on to tell us about to address these challenges it classified renewable energy solution circular economy uh, social justice and so on so if you want you can ask other questions you can prompt it with other questions and it will still give you the same answer it's very very precise and very perfect so ladies and gentlemen this is just a bit about the two methods on how to use gpt4 i hope you can go ahead and give it a try and if you want to use the other one which is the one direct on the open ai's website you can just go ahead and subscribe it's 20 dollars per month so thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.